How come a lot of times when I talk to people about prepping, they automatically associate prepping with me being negative, like I'm a negative person. But my question to them would be, aren't you being negative and automatically assuming that I'm a negative person? People that look at prepping and think a person's being negative, I think they're projecting negativity into the subject of preparedness. Just like everything in life, I think it comes down to having the proper mindset. So let me give you an example of this. If you're in a building and you see a fire extinguisher, do you dwell on the fire that could happen? Or do you look at that fire extinguisher as a safety mechanism, something that could stop a fire and save people's lives? People have 401ks. You're a prepper. You're preparing for a retirement. If you have a retirement plan, you're forecasting into the future and trying to do the necessary steps now to help you and your loved ones in the future. A lot of times when I talk to people about preparedness or prepping and they hear that I'm into preparedness and prepping or I tell someone to be prepared, they automatically assume that I'm being negative. Then they'll say they like being positive. I tell them I like being positive too. So that's why I don't look at preparedness in a negative way and associate it with the doom and gloom. Prepping and preparedness is something that you do because you have good situational awareness. Situational awareness is the ability to perceive, understand, and effectively respond to one situation. It involves comprehending a given circumstance, gathering relevant information, analyzing it, and making informed decisions to successfully address any potential risks, hazards, or events that might occur. So all prepping is prepping your obtaining resources because you are alert to what's going on around you and you're making an informed decision to successfully obtain resources to address any potential risks, hazards, or events that might occur in the future. So I'm trying to say don't look at prepping in a negative light and associate it with doom and gloom. Don't look at being a prepper and associate it in a negative light and say you don't like being negative. You're looking at prepping and preparedness in a negative way. If you want to look at prepping and being prepared in a positive way, look at it as prepping is the action you do because you have good situational awareness. That's a positive way to look at it. So again, I think it just has to do with a lot of people's mindsets and how they look at things. And hopefully, you know, in the future, people that do tend to look at preparedness and prepping and think of it in a negative way, hopefully you can look at it as something positive, as something that can help you and your loved ones. You think like this, I'm not saying everybody does, but you could just look at it in a different way, in a more positive way, because ultimately the person that is talking about preparedness and prepping is doing it out of love and compassion to try to help people and trying to help you in the long run. So I'd like to know your thoughts on this. I just noticed over the years that prepping a lot of times is frowned upon in today's society. Maybe it's because of shows like Doomsday Preppers puts a lot of things in people's minds, but hopefully people can start looking at it in a little different light. So my name is Isaac. For SE Wolverines, I thank you for clicking on the video and have a blessed day. SE Wolverines!